What is Candle's tau? Candle's tau is a correlation coefficient and is thus a measure of the relationship between two variables. But what is the difference between Pearson correlation and Candle's rank correlation? In contrast to Pearson correlation, Candle's rank correlation is a non-parametric test procedure. Thus, for the calculation of Candle's tau, the data need not to be normally distributed and the two variables need only have ordinal scale levels. Exactly the same is true for the Spearman rank correlation, right? That's right! Candle's tau is very similar to Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. However, Candle's tau should be preferred over Spearman's correlation if very few data with many rank ties are available. But how is Candle's tau calculated? We can calculate Candle's tau with this formula, where C is the number of concordant pairs and D is the number of discordant pairs. What are concordant and discordant pairs? We will now go through this with a simple example. Suppose two doctors are asked to rank six patients according to their physical health. One of the doctors is now defined as a reference and the patients are sorted from 1 to 6. Now the sorted ranks are matched with the ranks of the other doctor. E.g. the patient who is in 3rd place with the reference doctor is in 4th place with the other doctor. Now using Candle's tau we want to know if there is a correlation between the two ratings. For the correlation of Candle's tau we only need these ranks. We now look at each individual rank and note whether the values below are smaller or greater than itself. So we start at the first rank 3. 1 is smaller than 3, so gets a minus. 4 is greater, so gets a plus. 2 is smaller, so it gets a minus. 6 is greater, so gets a plus. And 5 is also greater, so it also gets a plus. Now we do the same for 1. Here, of course, each subsequent rank is greater than 1, so we have a plus everywhere. At rank 4, 2 is smaller and 6 and 5 are greater. Now we do this for rank 2 and rank 6. Then we can easily calculate the number of concordant and discordant pairs. We get the number of concordant pairs by counting all the plus. In our example, we have 11 plus in total. We get the number of discordant pairs by counting all the minus. In our example we have a total of 4 minus. C is thus 11 and D is 4. Candle's tau now is 11 minus 4 divided by 11 plus 4. And we get a candle's tau of 0.47. We get an alternative formula for candle's tau here with. S is C minus D, therefore 7. N is the number of cases, i.e. 6. If we insert everything, we also get 7 divided by 15. Just like the Pearson correlation coefficient r, Candle's tau also varies between minus 1 and 1. With the help of the coefficient, we can now determine two things. Number 1, how strong the correlation is. And number 2, in which direction the correlation goes. The strength of the correlation can be read in a table. If we have a coefficient between minus 1 and less than 0, there is a negative correlation, thus a negative correlationship between the variables. If we have a coefficient between greater than 0 and 1, there is a positive correlation, that is, a positive relationship between the two variables. If the result is 0, we have no correlation. Often, however, starting from a sample, we want to test a hypothesis about the population. We calculated the correlation coefficient from the sample data. Now we can test if the correlation coefficient is significantly different from zero. Thus, the null hypothesis is the correlation coefficient tau is equal to zero, there is no relationship. And the alternative hypothesis is the correlation coefficient tau is unequal to zero, there is a relationship. Now we want to know if the correlation coefficient is significantly different from zero. You can analyze this either by hand or with a software like DataTab. For the calculation by hand, we can use the set distribution 
as an approximation. However, for this we should at least have 40 cases. So the 6 cases from our example are actually too few. We get the set value with this formula. Here we have tau and n is the number of cases. And now I will show you how to calculate candles tau online with DataTab. To do this, simply copy your own data into this table and click on correlation. Then you select the desired variables for which you want to calculate candles tau. Now all you have to do is click here on candles tau and you're done. Here you can see the results. We also get a candles tau of 0.47. If you're not sure how to interpret the results, just click on summary in words. A candles tau correlation analysis was performed to determine if there is a relationship between variables A and B. There is a medium positive relationship between variables A and B with R equal to 0.47. Thus, there is a mean positive correlation in the sample between A and B. The result of Candles Tau correlation analysis showed that there was no significant relationship between A and B. This is because the calculated p value of 0.188 is greater than the significance level of 0.05. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.